Let's configure this tablet a little bit. After your driver installed, what you'll want to do is go to your control panel. That's found here under the Windows menu. Control panel. And then we'll go to the newly installed Wacom tablet properties. And we get this little window here. So what this is showing us is the express keys. There are four express keys that you can use to perform different commands. If you want to configure them to do different keystrokes or clicks, you can go forwards, backwards, pan and scroll, show desktop, There's all kinds of different commands that you can set these to here. We won't set them quite yet. This is a very important area, this pen tab here. We'll switch to that because your pen has pressure sensitivity. And so if you tend to push down really hard, you might want to set this tip feel a little different versus if you push down really lightly. So I tend to draw really hard and write really hard. So I set this to firm because I find that it gives me the right amount of pressure. And if you push down light or very firm, you'll see you get this little test bar here. You do the same with your eraser. And you can set some other things like the functions on your pen. Mapping is very important because if you're using two monitors, you have two screens, you may need to set your tablet to only work on one screen, or if you prefer, you could have it to span both screens. You can do that here. You can select just a particular monitor or a portion of the screen or all screens. There's a little Windows Ink option here, and if for some reason you don't like this little bubbling effect that happens when you click, you can turn this off. And we'll go to Touch Options and Pointer Speed. Uh, this is again some ways to kind of configure your touchpad. Standard gestures. If you watch this for a minute, it'll show you some different shortcuts that you can use to navigate and control what you see on screen here. And there's your radial menu. Your radial menu you can bring up and it'll just kind of let you select some different commands here. Again, that can be configured as you want it. We can also go to options here. And if there's anything you want to change, you can change it. There's the hover click, which is the default type of click. So if you hold the pen to close to the tablet and press the side switch to do a right click, uh, that's how you do your right clicks. And I prefer to keep it that way by hovering. You can also set it to press the side switch and then tap to do a right click if that's easier. You can change the handedness if you're left-handed or right-handed. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to keep it at right. Now let's take a look at how this works in Painter. And let's do some drawing and see here. Now if I push down really lightly, you can see that I get this thin line. And if I push down really hard, I get a very thick line. That's the pressure sensitivity. And again, if you wanted to play around with the setting a little bit and change it, you can do that in the control panel. Now, if you want to use the multi-touch gestures, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to the edit menu and then go to preferences. I believe it's under general and we'll check this enable multi-touch compatible box here. And now if we go back to our control panel and go to our tablet properties, we can look at this standard gestures page so we can see some of these different things that we can do. Uh, we have two fingers. We can swipe left and right to navigate, so let's try that. And we can rotate our page. Zoom in, zoom out. And then we can draw a little bit more. Zoom in a little bit more. Rotate and draw. And if we want to reset our page, we can just double click the rotate page tool. If I want to zoom back to 100%, just take our magnifier and click on this 100% button here.